All right, everybody. It's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to another end of the month haul. Yes, got some DVDs and Blu-rays for you to show off in my collection. Uh, this is for the month of May. So, I'll do the the DVD stack right here first, then I'll move on to the the blues. So I got pretty much almost even on film, so I was very happy on that. Usually I get one or the other that's more of. But without further ado, let's get on with the show. Uh, the first two I got at a church bazaar. They're only a dollar, and they're mostly kid films, but they're a lot of kid horror. Uh, the first one is, of course, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I mostly got this for The Adventures of Ichabod because it is Sleepy Hollow in animation form. Very creepy, very dark. I remember this movie as a kid. Had to have it. Loved it. And of course, I've always been wanting this film in a single release. I know there's a double release out there, but I love watching this film. Not just on Halloween, but any other day. And that is Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King, the original movie. Fun flick. I love this movie a lot. My wife loves it too. We'll just pop this and watch it for the hell of it. Again, I found this for a dollar at a church bazaar. Couldn't pass it up. Alright. Other DVDs. Found this at Walmart for 8 bucks. Last one. I don't have any of them. And then, of course, this is the fat 50 pack of the horror classics by good old Mill Creek. Finally got a hold of one of these. I have a couple, like, two packs that have, like, 12 movies on it or 16 movies on it. But this has 50. So I know a lot of people have these in their collections. And I wanted to get one. So for 8 bucks at Wally World, sure, why not? All right. Got some newer ones. I uh, picked up Scarred. Uh, this is a slasher. Uh, I don't know much about it yet. I'm going to probably watch it tonight. I heard, I've heard i been hearing really good things about this movie. Very retro 80s style. A bunch, I guess it's a bunch of uh, models doing a shoot with their photographer and uh, the guy that's in charge. And then, of course, there's someone that's all scarred because he was murdered by his... Uh, father and he comes back I guess and he kills him so it's got some torture-esque and I heard it's a good slasher so I'll give it a watch see how it goes uh, next for DVDs I found this again at Walmart that is called Sacrament not to get confused with the other one called Sacrament I don't know I've read the synopsis on this it sounds good I don't know if it's shit or not if it is well I wasted 10 bucks but if it's good, we'll see. If anybody has seen this movie, let me know. I'll move we'll these over here. Alright, next for Amazon, three bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Ice Road Terror. Good old sci fi channel films. <clears throat> the Unearth, a uh, lizard like creature in the ice, and of course, they're doing the ice road trucking thing, and the monster goes after them. Two guys on the road. It was actually not bad. And I said, I think it was like $3.99 on Amazon, brand new. Can't pass it up. Gotta love my creature features, right? Yeah. All right, next. Uh, DVD Extreme. No. Bloody Disgusting Selects has had a sale or something on Amazon. They're all $3.99, except for two of them, which of course I wanted, but there were more. But for $3.99, I picked up the movie called Chop. Uh, I think Moods did a review on this movie. Here it was pretty good. So for $3.99, why not? Check it out, see if it's any good. Yeah, if it's $3.99 it sucks, well, I wasted $4. Bucks. Uh, next I picked up is Prey by IFC Midnight. This is a French killer boar movie. This was really good. I highly recommend checking this one out. Uh, but you guys go hunting. But there's also a dark side to the family too, which is kind of cool. And uh, they're getting attacked by a bunch of boars. There's a, there's a story behind that too. But this was actually a lot of fun. This is a French film. Uh, you got It's all in French. So you got to do English uh, subtitles. But it was well worth it. Very well worth it. Really enjoyed it. Uh, next I picked up is Southbound. This is a horror anthology all on the road. Really enjoyed it. I love the score to this movie. Um, the stories were all good. The the wraparound is kind of like a the end story, and then it starts off again. So it puts it on a continuous loop, which I thought was pretty cool how they did this. I hope they do a part two. So Southbound, check it out. Cool horror anthology. All stories based on the road. Uh, 
next I picked up is uh, Sheepskin. This is a werewolf type film. This was actually a lot of fun. Uh, punk rock band captures a guy and, you know, beats him up, keeps him hostage in a uh, kind of like an abandoned warehouse. And they're saying, you know, we're going to kill you. You got to turn into a werewolf so we can take care of you. He's saying he's not a werewolf and they're second guessing themselves. Good storyline. I liked how they did this. I like how it ended too, which was pretty cool. So if you've never seen Cheapskin, highly recommend it. Artwork's pretty badass too. But I got a hold of uh, the Greenskeeper. This is a slasher on the golf course. The guy is wearing like a beekeeper outfit. A lot of funny kills on the golf course. There's like a ball washing scene with real balls. <laughs> uh, there's a, um, what was it? A sprinkler death scene, pretty funny. Pretty all overall, this is not a bad slasher. Good, good time killer. My friend actually gave this to me. Uh, he said he found it for a dollar and he didn't want it. So I said, I will definitely take it. And I know uh, the retro slasher there, Andy, is all ticked off because I got this free. And that is Hell Knight with Linda Blair, another 80s slasher. I've been after this for a while. It's going for like high prices on the online and all that crap. This is the original Anchor Bay edition too, which is awesome. So I was very happy to have this in my collection. It comes with the uh, the insert as well as the DVD, all well done. So he paid a dollar for it, so I'll give you some shit for it. So I'm going to. Uh, next is some something weird. Yes, Death Curse of Tartu and Sting of Death. I watched Death Curse. It's weird, it's a creature feature. The bunch of... Uh, Archaeology students go on this hidden land, uh, forbidden land to find their teacher. They party, drink, you know, all that stuff, dance. Well, they awaken Tartu, who is a Indian uh, chieftain, who his soul was in a cave. They said uh, when he awakens, he takes forms of different animals and kills people. Well, forms of you know alligators, snakes, sharks, all different type of things. So he goes around killing people in different animal forms, and it's the real animals. Uh, I haven't watched Sting of Death yet, but I heard it's a cool uh, scientist decides to mutate himself into like a human jellyfish thing. So I gotta watch that one. So that's next on the agenda at some point. Okay, come here, rest of these as I make a mess. Uh. Next I picked up is Hollow Ground. I think this was a sci-fi channel movie. It is a uh, another killer scarecrow film. I found this for four bucks. Very well worth it. Highly recommend checking this movie out. Uh, Jamie Alexander's in it. About a small town that has a dark past about sacrificing people and having like a blood harvest and it helps them get their uh, crops going. While the preacher that owned uh, the town was murdered with the rest of them, so his spirit comes back in the form of the uh, Scarecrow. So this is pretty much is another Killer Scarecrow film. So if you're into Killer Scarecrow flicks, highly recommend adding that to your collection. It's a fun watch. Uh, next I picked up from good old Code Red is Spasms. I'm surprised they put this out. I've been waiting to find the watch this film, and I did. The ending, I wasn't expecting that ending, but this was actually a good film. A uh, good giant killer snake movie. Had to have it for my snake films. And uh, the transfer is okay. Uh, I found out by doing the research, the movie is completely not finished. There was stuff cut out, so it was rushed to get it produced. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I guess that's why they're missing the whole occult thing in this movie. But other than that, Spasms was fun. Uh, next is from Legless Quartz. And that's called uh, Phantasm. This is a convention documentary. It's about a uh, college kid who is working on his final project from uh, near me, Syracuse, New York. And he goes to uh, several conventions from 2012, 2013. He goes to Rock and Shock. Um, he goes to, um, where the hell did he go? He goes to several conventions. All, all over uh, the area in Massachusetts. I think he goes to a couple horror hounds. 
uh, Monster Palooza, stuff from that. And he interviews a bunch of pe people, interviews uh, actors and actresses, people working at the uh, conventions. He is uh, shown just like videotaping other buddies are videotaping him. Uh, it shows a lot of cool shit at conventions. Uh, so if you love horror conventions, check out Phantasm. It's actually done really well for a college project. Uh, next I picked up is The Giant Spider. This is a... Christopher Min film. This is a great throwback to the 1950s giant atomic age killer bug movies. Uh, it's all stop, you know, real spider used and uh, on miniatures and shit like that. Kind of like how they did in the 50s. All shot like that. Uh, really well done. I gotta pick up some of his other films because his other films are entwined in other movies. Like where the spider came from was one of the caves that they used in uh, a previous film, I heard. So I thought that was pretty cool. So definitely gotta check his other work out. Another oldie I wanted to pick up is The Flesh Eaters. Uh, haven't watched this one yet, but I heard this was pretty cool. I guess it's a, a Nazi experiment and they develop these type of weird creatures that come on the beach and melt you. So I was very happy to find this for a decent copy put out by uh, Dark Sky Films. So if you've seen this movie, let me know. This is a uh, one disc edition. I don't think there is a two disc. But I heard there's other versions. There's a different DVD out there that is cut. I heard this one's uncut, so it's got all the stuff in it. Extra gore and stuff. So yeah, The Flesh Eaters. Can't wait to give that one a watch. Another one Moods recommended was The Devil's Reign. Uh, this was actually really good. I enjoyed this one. Uh, Shatner's going up against a religious cult. And then his uh, brother has to go find William Shatner. And Ernest Borgnine is the cult leader. There's some cool melting scenes where people are just melting from their flesh and everything. They have like green foam in their mouth and everything. Uh, really great religious cult flick. Highly recommend checking out The Devil's Reign. And last for the DVDs, I found at a uh, pawn shop for a couple bucks. And that is Dark Floors. Uh, this is a uh, ghost house production. <laughs> and uh, from the band Lordy. I know the band. I like the band. I like their music. This movie's just it's weird. It doesn't make sense. But it's cool because it has the cool slip cover. I know the slip is kind of dirty, but uh, I want to get. I decided, you know, for a buck, why not? So yeah, that's the DVDs. I'm um, gonna do a pause this for a minute. I'm gonna get right to the Blu-rays. All right, thank you. All right, guys, I'm back again. Sorry for that. Now we're gonna get into the Blu-ray stack. Uh, this is like in the end of the month haul for the Blu-rays. And I started off with the top one. For five bucks, I found Pandorum. I had never seen this film. It was at Walmart for five. I said, why not? If anybody has seen this movie, let me know. Uh, I got some Scream Factories. The stack has fallen. Uh, the first one, my wife actually bought this one for me. From a whisper to a scream. I have a Theater of Blood on a, a steelbook. So my DVD version was a double. With whispers to a scream and... Theater of Blood, so this was a big upgrade. This is done by Screen Factory, so I was very happy to have this. And I gave my DVD away to my father-in-law, who loves uh, Vincent Price. Uh, next from Screen Factory, Shark and Saw, Woman's Prison Massacre. Yes, got to have some killer shark flicks. Had to buy this. Uh, Jim Wynorski's film, fun flick. <laughs> it was just goofy all around. Highly recommend it. I can't believe Screen Factory got this version out. So yeah, Shark and Saw or Shark Kansas, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. And my last for the Screen Factories, I did pick up Manhunter. My DVD version was a not so good version. There's other DVDs out there. Uh, I think mine was an old Anchor Bay, but there's other versions that were better that were old Anchor Bay. So this was a big upgrade. Yeah, Manhunter's awesome. But when I started the whole Silence of the Lambs. 
Also for five bucks at a pawn shop, I picked up a haunted house, the Wayne's Brothers. So I got a little horror comedy here. Haven't watched this one yet. I'll probably get this to watch sometime soon. I don't know if it's any good or not. For five bucks, why not? Uh, I did pick up Emily from Best Buy for ten bucks. I've been hearing really good things about this movie, so I picked it up. It looks very, very twisted. So I can't wait to give this one a shot. Next on Amazon, uh, next on the list, I got from Amazon for twelve dollars, brand new. And for some reason, the DVD is way more. I mean, the Blu-ray is uh, way more expensive. And that is it, the Terror from Beyond Space. Finally got this in my collection. I uh, forgot who put this out. Uh, Olive Films put it out. So yeah, it's a short film, black and white. But for some reason, the Blu-ray is going for like 20 bucks. So this was brand new, $12, free shipping and everything. So I'd, fuck, I'm jumping on that. It was like one left. So I was glad to have it, Terror from Beyond Space, in my collection. Uh, from Synapse... Picked up Thou Shall Not Kill Except. This is, I heard this is going on a print. I know a lot of people have been picking this up in their collection. Maybe it's just a hoax to have them sell copies. I don't know. But I'm very glad to have this. This is uh, Rami's Ted, or who is this one? Which Rami is this one? I know the guy that did uh, Evil Dead Sam Rami. Duh. Ted helped him out. But Ted is actually in this one too. But Sam is the, uh, I think the bad guy in this movie. Yep, he is the religious cult leader in this film. I've never seen this one, so I gotta get this one to watch. This is a DVD Blu ray combo pack, and it has alternate artwork. I like this artwork better, so I flipped it over. So, yeah. All right, some more funny, cheesy goodness, and that's Mega Python vs. Gatoroid. I'm adding these giant creature monster movies to my collection. I'm going to keep getting them. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're just fun to watch. Just goofy shit. Giant snake and a giant gator. Yeah. Why not? <sighs> Next, I got from uh, Mondo Macabro. That is Symptoms. It's funny, it comes in a PlayStation case, as you can see right there. But that's what it comes in. And uh, I guess they had an issue with their disc company that did the cases. So they put them all on, on these uh, PlayStation cases. So it's legit. So yeah, Symptoms. I have never heard of this film. So I picked it up. Why not? It was, I got number 313 out of 1,000. I think there's still some left on the site if you want the red case numbered this is a two disc edition too so yeah had to snag this one why not and more mondo to my collection picked up the witch or the the bitch because <laughs> it looks just weird how they did it still have to watch this i've been hearing good and bad things about it but it's on the watch list i also picked up the independence day do disc version upgrade from my DVD, so I was very happy to have this. I wanted the the uh, special edition with the uh, the ship, but that was fifty bucks. I didn't want to spend fifty bucks on it, so I'll be happy with this version. Next, from Legless Corpse is Volumes of Blood. <clears throat> I did the pre order on this, and it came in a cool red case, and uh, looks great in a red case too. It just matches. This is a horror anthology that takes place in a library. Yes, all the stories take place in the library. This is done, uh, it's a, it is a low budget anthology. It was like a college project, they all worked together and they had an agreement with the library. So they did all the shots in there. It was pretty cool. Uh, the all short stories are all different. I did a review on this, so please check that out. But also it ends in a slasher which is really cool. Also, there's a prelude in the uh, in the special features. Highly recommend checking out the prelude. It kind of matches, it works everything together. I like how they did that. Uh, next is... Dude, Bro, Party Massacre 3, the Bro Teen Collection. 
This is a fun throwback slasher. It's like a horror comedy. Uh, there is no Dude Bro Party Massacre 1 or 2. It just goes right into part 3. When the guy is sitting with the psychiatrist, he talks about the first uh, massacre. He talks about the second massacre that happens. And of course the movie goes into the third massacre. So pretty much you get the ending of 1 and 2 and now all 3. Like I said again, there is no original 1 and 2. But it's a lot of fun. A lot of good kills. Goofiness, funniness all over the place. It's a fun slasher. Um, you can go around their website and pick it up. Highly recommend, you know, supporting independent companies. And another one from independent companies is uh, Kill TV Broadcaster Die. This is a slasher that takes place in a TV studio. Yes, it's a horror host where they're on live during like a Halloween event. And someone's killing the crew members. And of course they're trying to help get help through the TV broadcast. No one believes them because they think it's a, a, a stunt. Great film. Highly recommend. Good body count. Good kills. Uh, I did another review on this on my channel. So please check that out. And uh, check out uh, Kill TV or KILD TV. Because that's the name of the, the TV uh, station that they all work at. So it's pretty cool. All right, some other blues. Got one, so I got two. Trauma 2. Tra trailer Trauma 2. Yeah. Drive-In Massacre. I had the first one. Had to pick up the second one. I love the artwork on these. A ton of trailers. That's all it is. And it's just fun to watch the trailers sometimes, especially if you know the movies. You don't want to watch full length, so you just want to put in some trailers. These are great. Uh, upgrade. I didn't know this was a Blu-ray. I found it pretty cheap. Nightwatch. So I gotta get the Daywatch one. This is a Russian horror film. I think it's Russian. And, uh, it's got all the special, it had more features on it than the DVD, which I was kind of shocked. And I found this dirt cheap. So now I just gotta get the Daywatch, uh, blue, so I'll have them both. I heard that it was supposed to be a trilogy, but they haven't put out the third one yet. It'd be kind of cool if they did. Unless it ends, the second one ends it, so I don't know. If you guys know the, I've seen this one, but if you know the day watch, let me know. Especially if I need to pick it up. But this was a, a blast. <clears throat> From Umbrella is Razorback. Yes, on Blu-ray. I had the old uh, Warner Brothers Archive DVD, which was bare bones. This is uh, region free. It's got all A, B, and C there. It's got a lot of features to it, the documentary and a bunch of special features, you know, interviews and everything, outtakes, uh, deleted scenes. The deleted scenes I wish they put in because they were gory. One guy gets his face bit off by the boar, but awesome 80s killer boar flick. This was cheap on deep discount for $14. Had to jump on it. I know it was out of stock for a while, then I keep checking here and there. And it was back in stock, and I'm like, fuck, boom, in the cart you went. So, very happy. And last for the Blu-rays is Zap. <laughs> this is a Blu-ray DVD combo. Another uh, mad scientist who wants to mix himself, I think, with a catfish. And now he wants to uh, rule the world and turn everybody into catfish-type uh, monsters. Had to watch this one. I think this is from the 50s or 60s. Maybe 70s. I don't know. I had to get this one to watch. I've never seen this movie before. Oh, it's from the 70s. And uh, I've been eyeing it, eyeing it. So the price started going down. So I said, yeah, I better snag it now just to be on the safe side. If you've seen that, let me know. But I'm very happy to have this in the collection. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my DVD and Blu-ray haul. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. All right, guys. Later. Peace.